what's going on everyone it's marcellus back with another video and we got to go over the whole crypto market today so the big question that's on everybody's mind right now is when will crypto recover this is what everyone is asking right now when will crypto recover honestly there's no answer to that that's 100 percent but what i can do is show you the reasons why i believe crypto is about to recover soon and the reason why crypto hasn't recovered yet and really it hasn't recovered yet because of the fud but before we go over that let's look at what has happened so we know we have had somewhat of a recovery we went all the way down to twenty nine thousand dollars with bitcoin right all the way down to twenty nine thousand dollars so now when we look at bitcoin bitcoin went all the way back up here all the way back up to thirty nine thousand and then it dropped back down so in a way crypto has recovered a little bit but just a little bit look it went all the way down there from the bottom to there but it's done that many times so right now we know that we're stagnant and we're just trading sideways we're still in consolidation period for cryptos so right now cryptos are not about to just take off out of nowhere but what it's going to take really is a catalyst that sends us to the moon so we're going to continue to rise slowly but surely but really what a catalyst would do would just send us straight up like this did right here but it would continue to go up so as you can see this just went straight up like that and the catalyst that made it do that was the whole el salvador news with um el salvador having crypto as a legal tender remember salvador has not accepted crypto as a legal tender and anyone who gets a um residency at or anyone who invests 100k inside of bitcoin which is three bitcoins whoever has three bitcoins and goes to el salvador and invest the three bitcoins in el salvador that that means that they will have a permanent residence with el salvador so that is something that could actually help crypto go up because the more people that see that the more people are going to go to el salvador because they know that if they go to el salvador they're going to have some price cuts and then you know they they know that i'm not price cuts you know tax cuts they're going to be so so much better off over there financially and a permanent residency that's that's a really good deal there so that's what we know with el salvador i already talked about that uh yesterday just wanted to remind people about that that's a really major catalyst so that's one thing that will send crypto to the moon so that's one way crypto can recover so another thing let's look at the wallets here so this is a dogecoin wallet as you can see even the top dogecoin whale still is not selling second dogecoin whale still not selling and this is even more prevalent when you go over here to the bitcoin charts you see that bitcoin whales are not really selling either like look the top bitcoin whale obviously it's a wall it's not a wallet it's a um it's an exchange but for bitcoin you kind of have to scroll down farther so then you don't see all the exchanges so i like to all go all the way down here so let's go to wallet number 400 they have 4,000 bitcoins that's a lot they have never sold they just bought more bitcoins two days ago they first started buying bitcoin in 2013 where do i see i see it right here where i'm highlighting you can see they first bought in 2013 and then the last time they bought was two days ago and they have never sold these are sell orders but this well right here has never sold so let's click this well right here so looking at this well right here this well has never sold yesterday they bought 30 or two days ago they bought thirty two thousand dollars worth of bitcoin right there so that's a lot of money right there like that's a lot of money so let's keep looking 130 or no they bought at thirty two thousand dollars my bad this was a little transaction that's 18 cents that came in 18 cents so this looks like little um little transactions that's just been going you know like exchange rates and stuff like that possibly someone's just sending change to this person or them getting interest or something i don't know something weird but what's really important here is when they invested they invested in 2013 they put a lot of money in in 2013 and that that they put it in when bitcoin was worth 853 dollars for a bitcoin they put a whole 852 thousand dollars in when it was only worth 85 or 853 dollars and they kept doing this they kept buying bitcoin left and right and they actually stopped buying huge amounts of bitcoin right here like they were spending uh 60 800k here they spent 800k here 300k here 300k here 500k here and 600k here and yeah overall this will spent like two million dollars and has furthermore turned out into 148 million so that just puts things into perspective and um that's not our real questions here that we have today our real question is when will crypto recover so we already talked about when it will recover and how it will recover we really need these major catalysts to just come back back so another thing look bitcoin and other crypto targeted for banking regulation by bis so proposal will would require banks dealing in some crypto assets to hold substantial buffers in case of losses so the top global standard setter for banking regulation proposed a strict new rule that would require bank banks to essentially set aside a dollar in reserves for every dollar of bitcoin they own so this might actually this might actually incentivize uh these banks to not invest in crypto because then they have to have the same amount of money 
on hand to the side and that's money that they can't invest they just had to have it in cash just in case because of crypto so that's not too good for the bank so this is something that is going to bring up more fud fear uncertainty and doubt with crypto so this also affects when we will recover so that's why i'm going to be going over a lot of things today about the things that are going to affect our recovery whether it be negative or positive i'm going to talk about it because i don't i don't only talk about negative stuff like the all the el salvador thing was all good and all so i don't only talk about positive things either so i had to talk about the positive you know with el salvador and then i had to talk about a negative you know banks getting more regulations and that'll eventually lead to people getting regulated even more but look the committee said that banks should apply a 1200 percent risk rate to bitcoin which is similar in effect to the deduction of the asset from the capital if a bank held a hundred dollars of bitcoin exposure it would give risk to risk weighted as assets of twelve hundred dollars which when multiplied by the minimum capital capital requirement of eight percent results in setting aside at least a hundred dollars committee said so they're pretty much saying if if a bank held a hundred dollars of bitcoin they have to sit aside you know the same amount so that's going to you know it's going to not allow banks to invest as much money into crypto as they want and it's going to make them more incentivized to not invest in the crypto because they're going to have to have cash on side that they cannot put into other places so that is something that is you know it's not necessarily a negative catalyst because um it's not necessarily a negative catalyst it could be it could be a good positive catalyst but really this is kind of neutral because this is affecting banks a lot of banks have a lot of money in crypto and stuff so that means if if they don't have enough money to cover their risk they're gonna have to sell half so they can have half in the cash because remember bitcoin and other crypto targeted for banking regulations so these are actual regulations from the government they're actually saying all right we're, we're they haven't passed it yet all right they haven't passed it yet but they're trying to pass it look the committee includes the federal reserve european central bank and other major central banks doesn't enforce rules itself but sets minimum standards that regulators around the world agree upon and implement locally so banks have until September 10th to respond to the committee's proposal. So it hasn't even been proposed yet or it has been proposed, but it hasn't been, you know, filed yet. So it hasn't been set through. It's not set in stone, but September 10th, we'll know that. So like I said, crypto winter, everybody knows crypto winter is usually bad. So what if we just start taking off right now, right? Let's say Bitcoin just starts taking off right now and continues this uptrend that we just now started. So let's say we keep doing that until September. That means that crypto could recover before September and then it may go on another bear run. So we can possibly cover before then and go on another bear run or we could still stay in the bear run until September, which is highly unlikely. I really do believe we're going to have another spike before September. But then when September comes, we're probably going to start dropping down because of crypto winter. So my honest opinion, I feel like uh, Bitcoin, you know, everything, everything follows Bitcoin. So I'm just going to stay at Bitcoin here. I feel like Bitcoin is going to shoot back up to 60K and then eventually to 70K. And then around September, it's probably going to drop back down to about 40 to 50K around September. And that's actually really good. I actually want to see something like that happen because that's really good movement right there. Like we already had our bear run. Boom. We already went through our little bear run. As we see back here, even in January, we went from 40k all the way down to 30k you know it's not as big as a jump that a uh, drop that we had before like just now but it was a drop you know it was a little tiny of a bear run you know but right right at the end of the month a little tiny bear run you know and then it came back up and then it's now back down so i really do feel like this may be towards the end of the bear run and then once we take off we're going to end up you know going out to 70k and then before september we're probably going to drop around september because you know crypto winter so that's what we're seeing right now with bitcoin some risk right here with the banks i mean it's not bad for us but it will be bad for us if the banks decide to sell because they don't want to cover that you know risk they don't want to cover that 1200 percent risk that factor that the government was talking about so bitcoin other crypto assets targeted for stiff banking regulations so everybody is talking about this right now so this is huge fud huge fud is going everywhere fear uncertainty doubt we can see this everywhere we go look global banking regulators urges tough capital rules for crypto it's literally everywhere and then on top of that just to top that off then we have china china arrests over 1100 suspects and crackdown on crypto related money laundering so that's more fud look shanghai police in china arrested over 1100 people suspected of using cryptocurrencies to launder illegal proceeds 
from telephone and internet scams in a recent crackdown. So the arrest came as authorities in China set up their crackdown on cryptocurrency trading. Last month, three industry bodies banned crypto-related financial and payment services. And the state council, China's cabinet, vowed to clamp down on Bitcoin mining and trading. So the public security ministry said that by Wednesday afternoon, police had busted more than 170 criminals involved in using cryptocurrencies to launder money. The money launderers charged their criminal clients a commission of 1.5% to 5% to convert illegal proceeds into virtual currencies via crypto exchanges, the ministry said. So this is more FUD that's going that's going around now. China has caught 1,100 people who were money money laundering through crypto. I mean, that's really bad on crypto. That looks really bad on us. So that's FUD. That's fear, uncertainty, and doubt. So that's another thing that's going to affect our recovery. So every time we get bad news, it pushes us down even more. And then whenever we get up good news, it'll push us up. But we need more good news than bad news. Like you see, we get good news about El Salvador and you know about other bitcoin stuff and then boom it starts to go up and then you know you get the bad news coming in today about china and about regulators and then you kind of start to have that little bit of a downtrend but we have been on an uptrend like earlier on in the day and even just early on inside crypto honestly it's still early with crypto i'm going to be completely honest i really feel like 2030 bitcoin would be at a million dollars by 2030 it will be one million dollar bitcoin it's impossible for it to not reach a million dollars by 2030 and honestly it could go it could go higher than a million dollars by 2030 i'm just saying you know 2025 bitcoin is going to it could possibly reach a million by 2025 there's no way of knowing what this is going to do we know that we could possibly even reach 100k by the end of the year but like i said september you know crypto winter i don't know what's going to happen remember i'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice but you know crypto winter everyone talks about that so definitely be careful here but yeah crypto will recover soon but let's keep reading here. Cryptocurrency comes to retirement plans as Coinbase teams up with 401k providers. That's actually really good news here. So workers at participating companies could invest up to 5% of their account balances in cryptocurrency. That's really cool right there. Small group of workers, um, a small group of workers will find something new in their 401k plans for July, starting in July. So for all, for us all incorporated, a 401k provider announced earlier this month a deal with the institutional arm of Coinbase Global Incorporated, a leading cryptocurrency exchange that will allow workers and plans it administers to invest up to 5% of their 401k contributions to Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, and others. So yes, Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Bitcoin, people can now invest those inside of their off um, there are 401ks, almost said Roth IRA, you know, almost the same thing, but yeah, 401ks. So executives for, um, executives at for us all, that's a weird name. Executives at for us all won't say how many of the firm's 400 employer clients have signed up for the cryptocurrency platform so far, you know, cause security reasons. They say they were founded in 2012. The company provides automated 401k administration, menus of low cost mutual funds and access to human advisors with just 1.7 billion in retirement plan assets. That's a lot of money. You know, they represent a small piece of the $22 trillion retirement account market. So that's a lot of money. And there's just a small portion of it, $1.7 billion. So $1.7 billion could potentially flow into Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all that. That's huge right there. That is really big. So let's keep reading what we have here for our other stories that will lead us to know whether are we going to recover or not with crypto. So Warren, U.S. government needs to confront crypto threats head on. I talked about this yesterday and this is just bad. All the FUD. I mean, U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren on Wednesday called on U.S. policymakers to directly tackle issues presented by the growing use of cryptocurrency while saying a Federal Reserve Bank digital currency shows great promise. So pretty much they want a Federal Reserve backed uh, currency. So just like you know how they have US dollar or they, like they have Bitcoin, they have uh, Ethereum. They want something like that for the but for the US dollar. You know, so like we have Tether, but I think what they're saying is they don't want something as like a stable type coin like Tether. They're trying to have their own Bitcoin. So they're trying to have their own, you know, appreciating asset or their own digital appreciating asset, which is not too bad. I mean, I I honestly hope that the government goes through with making their own coin. So then they don't have to regulate ours. Like, that's what I'm praying for. I pray the government makes their own coin because if they make their own coin, they're not going to put more regulations on it because they know they're going to be able to make a lot of money on that coin without the regulations. But with the regulations, less people will be invested and they know they would lose money. So really what she's trying to do here, she's trying to get the she's trying to push the government to make their own coin and their own crypto, which is actually a good thing for crypto in general. So 
that's just my take on it let me know what you think if you think it would be bad for the government to make their own coin let me know what you think but i think it would honestly be good because then they could take their eyes off of our stuff they could stop looking at bitcoin dogecoin shiba they could stop looking at all the stuff as a threat and look at it as assets you know but let's keep reading so investco plans two crypto focused etfs so yeah crypto etfs are a thing so let's read this atlanta based investco is an investment management firm with 1.5 trillion dollars in assets a lot of money right there investco plans two cryptocurrency focused exchange traded funds etfs becoming the latest entrant into the field while approval of an actual bitcoin etf by the u.s securities and exchange commission remains elusive so that is pretty cool right there. Roughly 85% of the Invesco Galaxy blockchain economy ETF and the Invesco Galaxy crypto economy ETF will be in crypto linked equities. According to a filing with the SEC, the rest of the portfolio will be in other trusts and funds that hold crypto. So that's pretty cool. They're actually about to have these crypto ETFs coming. That's another thing that will help crypto recover. You know, this is another, this is what I'm talking about, about crypto is just now starting. They're literally just now starting to put cryptos into ETFs. They're literally just now starting to implement crypto into the stock market. You, this is this is what we're saying. We're seeing the beginning of cryptocurrency. They're just now starting to make their own coin for the government. You know, this is the start of cryptos. Even though Bitcoin's really high right now, Bitcoin's at $36,000. Even though crypto is really high right now, this is the very start of it. I mean, you have to think about the GDP of America. I think it's like 22 trillion uh, GDP america gdp america is now at 20 or uh, see that was in 2019 so we don't even know for 20 uh 21 it's probably way way more than 2021 i don't even know honestly let's type inside 2021 to see if it comes up they probably haven't even calculated it yet so 22.68 trillion all right so 22.68 trillion inside gdp for the u.s that's a lot of gdp for the u.s right so looking at this just think 1.7 trillion dollars inside of this etf here just think about that money or 1.5 trillion dollar inside the etf there imagine that money going into you know more cryptos like bitcoin bitcoin already was at 1 trillion dollars the gdp of america 22.68 trillion there's a lot of money to flow there's a lot of money to flow around and it's about to go into the cryptocurrency market but yeah this this is just what we're seeing so i'm just speaking about the facts that we see here at hand now so major cryptocurrency exchanges explore entering crypt indian crypto market so think about what just now happened with the covid crypto relief fund with shiba inu shiba inu but vitalik Buterin, he just now donated all that money he donated literally a billion dollars to the indian covid relief fund and since he did that india has been researching a lot on the crypto market they have been trying to get exchanges going crazy in india since the whole shiba inu thing that's why i'm really big on shiba inu because shiba inu is about to probably become the currency of india because india is really thankful for that one billion dollar donation like that really helped their country out so let's keep reading major crypto exchanges want to enter india global crypto exchanges are exploring ways to enter the indian cryptocurrency market um so four sources told the publication that u.s based kraken hong kong based fifth by bitfinex or bitfinex whatever it is and rival qcoin are actively scouting the indian crypto market one source claimed to be directly involved with an exchange that is considering acquiring an indian crypto firm and had begun due diligence for uh yeah due diligence for it so yeah we are about to have cryptos all up inside of indian indian territory we're about to have so many different crypto exchanges going into india so this is actually pretty good for the crypto market so this is another thing that will help crypto recover so all in all the answer to the question when crypto will recover no one exactly knows but by the end of the year we have to recover we have to because remember crypto winter we're probably gonna go down and i mean this is just what happened in other times you know it could change this time around but I definitely think before September, we are going to have uh, another bull run. So June, July, August, I'm definitely looking out optimistically here for June, July and August. So that is what we're seeing with crypto right now. But remember, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and check out the link in the description for a free stock with Robinhood and Webull. Remember, for a limited time only, you'll get three free stocks when you sign up with Robinhood and four free stocks when you sign up for Webull. And I will be back with another video. Peace.